Hi friends, this is Abrish. This is Vijay Kumar. We are going to present a video on chemical engineers who changes the world. Hope you enjoy this video. Haber Bosch process developed by industrial chemists Fritz Haber and scaled up by the chemical engineer Carl Bosch. The Haber Bosch process takes nitrogen from the air and converts it to ammonia. The equation N2 plus 3H2 gives rise to 2H3. This made it possible for the first time to produce synthetic fertilizers and produce sufficient food for the ads growing population. Indeed, without the Haber Bosch process, we would only be able to produce around two-thirds the amount of food we do today. Solving the problem earned Haber and Bose two Nobel Prizes in Chemistry, Haber in 1918, Bose in 1931. Polyethylene or polythene was discovered twice each time by accident. The German chemist Hans von Pechmann and the first to synthesis as an unexpected result of heating, diazomethane. It was discovered again by two research chemists, Reginald Gibson and Michael Perrin. But it was a chemical engineer, Dermot Manning, who built the high pressure research reactor that made the experiment possible as well as the larger reactors needed for full-scale production. The annual global production is approximately 80 million tons. Its primary use is packaging, plastic bag, plastic films, geomembranes, containers, including bottles, etc. Vladimir Hensel was an American chemical engineer who invented the platforming process, a platinum catalytic process for reforming petroleum hydrocarbons into gasoline. He was influential in the creation of catalytic converters, which is a control device that converts toxic pollutants in exhaust gas to less toxic pollutants from automobiles. Catalytic converters are used within internal combustion engines fueled by either petrol or diesel engines. Romeo Vada, hidden pioneer of modern electronics who just so happened to have a background in chemical engineering developed the world's first liquid crystal pocket calculator, the Lowly EL805 pocket calculator launched by Sharp in May 1973, is the direct ancestor of today's flat screen displays, be they on a TV, your smartphone, your laptop, microwave, or just about any other electronic device you care to name. Wara studied chemical engineering at Doshisha University near Kyoto, during the 1950s, after which he joined Sharp Corporation at its Central Research Laboratory in Osaka. Andrew Stephen Grew, Hungarian-born American, he is science pioneer in the semiconductor industry. He became CEO of Intel Corporation and helped transform the company into the world's largest manufacturer of semiconductors. He earned a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from the City College of New York in 1960. Grew has acted as a shepherd of the computer age. In 1997, he was chosen as Time Man of the Year, marking the 50th anniversary of the invention of the microchip. 
the technology that would form the heart of his career and help change the world we know entirely. What happened that turned the world's most rare and expensive metal into a cheap commodity? The answer, Charles Hall and Paul Herold separately developed a commercially viable process for extracting aluminium. The Hall-Herold process reduced the price of aluminium factor of 200 and transformed the rarity into a commodity. Hall's and Herold's process are almost identical. The main difference are that Herald used larger anodes and cryolite only as the basis, while Hall uses smaller anodes and added a small amount of floor spot to the cryolite. Aluminium is one of the most important and widely used metals in the transport, construction, packaging, and electrical sectors. In transport, aluminium is used in cars, engine blocks, cylinder heads, transmission housings, and body panels trucks and buses, sheet and plate for bodies, in railway stock and in aircraft. Francis Thomas Bacon was an English engineer who developed the first practical hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. Fuel cells are often compared to batteries, both convert the energy produced by a chemical reaction into usable electrical power. Hydrogen powered fuel cells are not only pollution free, but also can have two to three times the efficiency of traditional combustion technologies. Fuel cells can also power our transportation, including personal vehicles, trucks, buses, and marine vessels. Hydrogen can play a particularly important role in the future by replacing the imported petroleum we currently use in our cars and trucks. <laughs> 